Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. I want to show you how I do the warp in um, Photoshop. A lot of people um, use the word clouds. Well, those stopped working on my old Windows 7, so I learned how to do this warp in Photoshop. Well, uh, let's see. And someone had just asked, so now I'm going to show you. All right, so I bring my object in. I just come into File, and I click Open. And I bring in my JPEGs. So we go to Text. Oh, let's do the Collegiate. Okay, so we're going to start typing. Come up here. Grab our little size tool. Okay. Oops. And it's pretty much self explanatory until we get to the bottom. Okay, so here is where we're going to start shaping the word after we get it all drawn out here. Oops, a little too far. And we can change all this around. And I don't like the way those letters look. Could change the font, but I just wanted to show you. Okay. Alright, so with this selected, I don't like the way that looks at all. But anyways, we're going to come up here to transform. We're going to click warp. And you see this gives us this grid. Well, where each of these dots are, that's going to let us bend this to bring it back to where we want it. Okay. So we can bring it out, bring it down. Really bring it in. You have the ability to move it wherever you want. Okay, you can bring it all the way down. Bring this back out. Bring this over. Bring this one over. This one in. Bring this one out a little bit. That one up and out. But as you can see, it just transformed it so that it now conforms to the shape <clears throat> of that item. So now it's to the shape of the home plate. And if I had had a better font, that would probably look a little bit better. But you see how easy that was to do that. So, um, <clears throat> it's pretty simple to do. Let me pull up another one. Okay. Here I have the Superman. So you come in, you change your size so it's easier to work with. Okay. And then you start adding text. 
Let's change this though because I did not like the way that looked at all. And you want kind of a thicker one so that when it types it, it stands out. It's not hard to read. Okay, so let's see. Um, all right, come up here and you size it. And you can actually go a little bit over because then you'll have to draw that parts of it back in which make it conform to the shape. So like if you take your bottom part all the way to the edge like that. Okay, and you hit apply and then you come up to edit, transform, warp. So now you have to bring that all the way back in. So now it's going to conform to that shape. Okay, so now let's add some more text. Back that up just a tiny bit. Okay. Oops. And this is so easy to do, but it looks like it's so complicated. It really gives it a neat look. And this is a heck of a lot easier than doing node editing. Node editing can drive you batty, but sometimes it's not that bad. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. And then our last word. I want it to go too far. Okay. Alright. Stuff that back in there. All right. All right. So there you go. And if you don't want this to be so squished back in there, you can always shorten it up. Okay. Oops. I hope I push the right button. You can shorten it up, and then bring those out. Okay. But 
that's how you do it. All right, if you guys have any questions, again, this is Photoshop. Um, this you can purchase um, through Adobe per month um, is what you can uh, do. This is in their little um, like per monthly uh, program thing that you can use um, so that you don't have to spend like the $800 uh, on the program. All right, guys, um, if you have any questions, find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help. Thanks.